All right, this video is on graphing polar equations. All right, so now I want to go back and talk about how to how to graph polar equations, right? On, in this on this new polar graph paper. All right, so we're going to sketch r equals four cosine theta. Now, just like we did way back when when we were first learning how to graph things, and, and we still probably do it from time to time today, <clears throat> we're going to plot points. So over on the side, we're going to do a little t chart. So we would have r theta. In this case, we're going to plug in numbers for theta and let it tell us what r is going to be. All right, so example, when theta is 0, then the cosine of 0 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4, so r would be 4. And then let's do something, say, like pi over 6. I'm just kind of sticking to the numbers on the unit circle. So the cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2, and the square root of 3 over 2 times 4 goes to about 3.46 just so we have an idea where it's at. Okay. And then if you choose pi over 4, so the uh, cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. Multiply that times 4, you're going to get 2.83 roughly. All right. And then what happens when it's uh, pi over 3? So the cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. 1 half times 4 is 2. All right. And pi over 2, cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So 0 times 4 is 0. And then just keep going around and you'll get the following numbers. So now let's go over here and plot them. So 4, 0 would be 1, 2, 3, 4. The fourth circle out and the angle 0. Then at pi over 6, we're at like 3.5 roughly. So 1, 2, 3.5. Right? And at pi over 4, we're at 2.83. So 1, 2, so we're like up here. At pi over 3, we're at 2. And at pi over 2, we're back at 0. Right? And then at 2 pi over 3, we're at negative 2. So remember, we have to go back through. So 2 pi over 3, we're at negative 2, would be here. And then at 3 pi over 4, we're at negative 2 point eight. So 3 pi over 4 would be up here somewhere. And then at 5 pi over 6, we're at negative 3 and a half. So 1, 2, 3 and a half, roughly. And at pi, we're over at negative 4, which puts us back here. Now, if you keep going, like 7 pi over 6, so 7 pi over 6, you're going to get negative three and a half. So that's going to put you back here. Right? And then five pi over four is going to put you at negative two point eight three. So it's going to put you back over here. So they're going to start to repeat itself. Right? So we're just going to kind of stop and we're just going to kind of sketch the graph. Whoops. and you get a circle. So this is an equation for a circle in the polar coordinate system. Okay, so not really exciting. And plotting points, kind of cumbersome. All right, I want to do one more with plotting points. So this time we want to sketch the graph of r equals 2 sine 3 theta. All right, so when theta is 0, you get 3 times 0 is 0, sine of 0 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0. All right, let's do pi over 6. So plug pi over 6 in, you get 3 times pi over 6, which is pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, if you need to go off to the side and do that math to figure that out, do it. All right, All right so what about pi over 4? Pi over 4, plug that in, you get the sine of 3 pi over 4 times 2, you're going to get 1.41, roughly. Pi over 3, plug that in, you get 3 times pi over 3, which is pi. The sine of pi is 0. Plug pi over 2 in, you get the sine of 3 pi over 2, which is negative 1, which times 2 is going to be negative 2. Okay, I'm going to put some more down here, and you should verify where they come from, and then we'll go plot them. All right, so now let's go plot them. Okay, so 0, 0, we're at the origin, at the pole. And then at pi over 6, we're out at 2, so 1, 2. At pi over 4, we're out here at 1.4, roughly, somewhere like that. Right, and then at pi over 3, we're back at the pole. At pi over 2, we're out at negative 2, so we'd be down here. Agree? Pi over 2 and then negative 2. And at 2 pi over 3, we're back at 0. At 3 pi over 4, we're at 1.4, so, so somewhere out here. At 5.6, we're right at 2. At pi, we're back to 0. And then at 7 pi over 6, we're at negative 2. And that's going to start repeating. Now, what I left out here was pi over 12, OK? 
because our graph isn't on here. But pi over 12 would be here somewhere, right? And when you use pi over 12, you're going to get 1.4. You're going to get right here somewhere. You should verify that. And then same over here with 11 pi over 12, which we didn't put on there. You're also going to get 1.4, right? And it's going to be the same situations down here, a couple of points. So we're kind of following the ordered pairs, right? We're kind of going, all right, this goes like such. Okay, and then at pi over 3, we we're back here at the origin. Then at pi over 2, down here at negative 2. You need a graph that looks something like that. Obviously, the more points you can plot, the better. And I did not list them all over here. That would be that would be um, helpful. So fill in the gaps uh, when you need to. And so you get this three-petal rose. Is what the graph of r equals two sine three theta is all about. All right. And then you, you can look online, or you can look in the books, or whatever. Uh, and there are all these different forms. Like if, if your equations of a certain form, then you've got so many petals, or or whatever. And there's all kinds of things like lemnus gates and um, lemicons. Uh, and roses. You can get all kinds of interesting shapes with uh, with polar graphs. All right, that's the idea. You should just kind of plot points. Nothing really fancy. Uh, just be able to plot points to graph a polar equation. All right, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.